Hey, uh, welcome to the Yorker How to Solve a Rubik's Cube video. Um, Rubik's Cube's really on there, difficult to solve. I think anyone can learn how to do it. In about an evening, kind of, the main thing you need is just patience, really, because you will mess up quite a bit, but eventually you'll learn how to do it. Okay, on the article, you can see there's a list of algorithms. Now, uh, you really shouldn't, don't be like afraid of algorithms. Algorithms are just a list of moves to move one square from one place on the cube to another place. Really not that hard. You see um, the labeled F, U, L, R. What that means is F is for front, which is clockwise, up clockwise, down clockwise, right clockwise, and away from you, left also away from you. If it's got a little I next to it, that means it's inverted, so you have to move it the other way. So front inverted is, looks like that, up inverted like that, right would be towards you, left towards you, and down anti-clockwise. Cool. Um, the first thing you have to do is choose a side to begin with. I usually choose the white side, but it doesn't really matter. And to build a cross on the top. If you have, um, to get the cubes in the right place, what you need to do, say, this cube is white and orange. So where it needs to be is here, because it needs to line up so the white's there and the orange is there. Okay? So to get it to there, you have to move it to the bottom first, then move it underneath where you want it, which is here, and then just flip it over. Okay? So here the green's easily, like, it's already underneath where we want it. So we just have to flip it over. So this cube is in the right position, but it's orientated the wrong way. The white needs to be facing upwards and the red needs to be here. So you have to do the first algorithm on the list, which is front inverted, up, left, up inverted. And now we've got it in the right place and orientated the right way. The last one is white orange. We have to do the exact same thing again. So get it in the right place and do the first little algorithm, front inverted, up, left, up inverted. And there we go. You have a, key, a cross on the top, with, and then if you've done it correctly, all these sides should line up. Uh, now you've done the cross, you need to do the four corners. So if we take this corner, for example, we need the white, red, and green cube, which is here. So as before, move it so it's directly underneath where you want it, so like that. And then you do algorithm number two. If the white is facing out to the right, you do algorithm number two, which is right inverted, down, right, down inverted. The last move there, down inverted, wasn't actually necessary. But you'll be using that algorithm again later quite a bit, and then it is necessary. So it's just good practice to do that. Okay. Uh, here we need to do the exact same as before. We have orange, green, white directly underneath where we need it. And the white's facing to the right here. So we do algorithm number two, right inverted, down, right, down inverted. Here it's slightly different because it's blue, orange and white. But the white is facing downwards. Now this is uh, the most complicated it will get in this first video. You have to do, first of all, algorithm number four to get it so the cube is facing where the white is coming out to the right which is right inverted, down, down, right, down inverted. So do algorithm number two, again, so you do algorithm number four and then number two if the white is facing downwards. Okay, last one is facing to the right, so uh, just algorithm number two again. If the white is facing to the left, you'll do algorithm number three, which is basically algorithm number two but backwards and that's down, right inverted, down inverted, right. Okay, so uh, if you've done all this video correctly you should now have first of all one side but also one layer here. So 